protesters. Back up! Pirates, even kidnappers, targeting today's super rich. Some say these threats are intensifying. And billionaires around the globe are fortifying their personal security with sophisticated, cutting edge, and so-called head of state level protection. From high security on the high seas. You're on your own when you're out here. Until the good guys can come and rescue you. To when the bad guys come. We can go ahead and deploy tactical. The tools and the technologies. These are 15 shotgun shells. To take down any intruder at any cost. While they're jet setting or on the move, an entire industry is on call. Ready to sell the super rich super security and even some good old fashioned muscle. I'm absolutely emotionally prepared to kill somebody if I have to. With exclusive access to Warren Buffett's bodyguard, we go behind the scenes with his team. Money can't buy happiness, but can it buy personal safety? Inside the best protection money can buy. This is Dangerously Rich, Billionaire Super Security. Beautiful cars, lavish mansions, expensive toys, life of the super rich. But these are nervous times for billionaires around the world. Even Facebook backer Sean Parker of Napster fame recently tweeted, I have a whole new set of problems to deal with now. Security, extortion attempts, kidnapping threats, death threats, etc. And he asks, was life better before? Experts say the global 1% is casting a wary eye on social instability. In fact, a recent survey by the Pew Research Center found that the wealthy are increasingly concerned about class conflict. So that there is something to be worried about, you think? Yes. Brian Yuli is part of the Occupy movement in West Palm Beach. He says a small minority in his group should make billionaires uneasy. I would prefer that it never come to anything like that, but you know, people are tired of feeling as if they're just being stepped on and don't matter. But at the Berkshire Hathaway annual shareholders meeting in Omaha, Nebraska, the threat isn't necessarily an Occupy protester. Here, where literally tens of thousands of people are clamoring to get close to the legendary Warren Buffett, everything and everyone is a potential threat. The Oracle may be the brains here, but this man is the brawn behind the Buffett operation. Dan Clark is Buffett's bodyguard. You're going to turn the client from the threat. And he got the job practically by accident after a chance run-in with Buffett's daughter, Susie, at this bagel shop in Omaha almost 20 years ago. Absolutely not. Did I know where it would go? Part of the things that did help me, though, was my past training. Working as a police officer at the time, Clark offered his protective services on the spot and soon became Buffett's shadow most prominently during Berkshire Hathaway gatherings where he's on the lookout for anyone suspicious. We've had people that have shown up before at an event with a client and they are so fixated on the client that when the rest of the crowd is acting normally, they're presenting normal behavior, this person is not. Clark has since started his own private security firm, Clark International. Whether it's getting on and off a corporate jet, or protecting somebody in a public place. Clark draws from a network of more than 100 security experts, agents with law enforcement and military backgrounds, who train and prepare for multiple scenarios. Like how to plow through an ambush. They're constantly practicing high-speed maneuvers here on this test track so they can get the protectees out of any situation they find themselves in. And they're paying total attention to detail, including where you put your hands on the wheel so that you can make sure you can control the car even when the airbag is popped out right in your face. But protective detail means keeping clients safe even in the most routine circumstances. Now they rehearse arrivals and departures over and over again because one of the most vulnerable points for the super rich is when they arrive at a public event. Each man has a key area of responsibility protecting the front and the back and also making sure that the protectee knows where he's going. 
Clark has reportedly protected Sarah Palin and actor George Clooney, and he won't name any other clients. But they tend to be high-profile personalities who, like Warren Buffett, attract large crowds. At Clark International, the six-man diamond formation is used for the most dangerous situations, the most crowded rooms. Each man at a different point, each responsible for a different area. It's all about protecting the protectee. But sometimes the protectees need more than just manpower. When it comes to security, whether they're at home or globe trotting, the dangerously rich are fully loaded. Coming up, the big guns of billionaire security. In the line of fire with the man who follows Warren Buffett's every move. Only the paranoid survive. And survival of the richest anywhere they go. Plus, taking down an intruder with this stuff. These are 15 shotgun shells. Or potentially something much deadlier. And being dangerously rich in risky territory. For the wealthy, one of the most dangerous times can be when they're on the move around the world, often in a private Gulfstream jet like this one. When we come back, more secrets of keeping the super rich safe. For most Americans, home security means an alarm system or maybe a dog. But for this house in Hollywood, it's a totally different picture. The nice thing about this heliport, it was designed to take excessive loads. It has Al no Corby is the president of SAFE, which stands for Strategically Armored and Fortified Environments, a firm that designs custom, sometimes hidden, protection for the uber rich. Corby uses this mansion in the Hollywood Hills as a show home for his security systems. We've gotten in, broken in the house, we're right here outside the safe core. What we want to do is stop them here. Let me show you how you do it. Now we come into the safe core. Okay. This door, ballistic, bomb proof. You close the door, throw that one bolt. Now my wife and children are the safest people in LA. And this just doesn't feel like a panic room or a bomb shelter at all. This feels like a little girl's room. That's exactly the point. You have full ballistics. You have surveillance, the camera. You have full connectivity. The kids can actually be on their iPod looking at the whole house. All right, now we come into the master bedroom suite. You notice everything still seems open, the kids' rooms and all. Oh, this is gorgeous. And even though you don't see any signs of security, it's a fortress. You've got ballistic walls, ceilings, and floors. You even have a bed that's sitting on a ballistic frame. So if there's an explosion underneath here, what happens? The, the blast will go out in three directions. Not that anything could get up through this floor, but if it did, this is an added level of security. All right, within the safe core is a safe room, and it's the command center where everything happens. You have all of the control and conveniences you can hope for. So you can see the entire house, every camera in the house, and you can control all the doors in the house, is that right? Everything and communications. So show me how that works. I said leave. Now let's say he doesn't. He wants right. to do something. Then we can go ahead and deploy tactical right in that area. This is Todd Parrott. He handles tactical and hardening for safe. And Todd, you've got a device here. This is terrifying. Well, these are 15 shotgun shells. And you mount this into the wall or into the ceiling or where? Either. We put it behind walls, behind ceilings, so that it uh, blends with the architecture. And when somebody comes into the house, you can remotely press a button, and what happens? Well, first of all, it's, it's not something that we do in the U.S. It's something we do overseas. Um, and it requires a series of three or four authentications before it can be deployed. And then and when you fire this off, could anybody survive underneath this? Not a chance. While most devices aren't lethal, many of Corby's systems can be controlled remotely. Billionaires aren't just paying top dollar for protection, they want top-notch convenience. Security isn't something that should make you feel honkered down and, and restricted. On the contrary, it should liberate you. Once you have it, you can go on with your life. Using this iPad or even just a remote control like you might have for your car, you can operate all of this home's tactical defensive systems, including this fog blast, which is designed to incapacitate or disorient any intruder who might be coming into the home. The goal is to keep the bad guys out, but ultra-wealthy homeowners also want to know that every precaution is taken in the event they're locked in themselves. steel frame. And just steps away from that beautiful bedroom is a bathroom that looks normal, but is really anything but. Over here in the shower, they've got a biological wash in case of chemical attack, 
And on this side of the room, they've got a week's worth of supplies right here in the safe core. And if that's not enough, this house has a bomb shelter. Now we're at the lower level. We're 20 feet underground. And you notice we just came through another one of the blast doors. Another bomb door. Another bomb door. This whole area is an